a hard day, we all like to pour a glass of wine, go on Zillow and dream. But to make that Zillow house a reality, you have to have a good credit score. A credit score is an unbiased algorithm that tells lenders whether or not you can pay a mortgage. But what if it isn't unbiased at all? I'll explain in a segment called, How Did We Get Here? For many, owning a home is part of the American dream, like getting married, having kids, or wearing an American flag bikini while you shoot an AR-15 out of your pickup truck. <laughs> but owning a home is more reachable for some than others. Recently, the Associated Press released a study that found that when it comes to mortgages, banks are 40% more likely to reject Latino applicants, 50% more likely to turn down Asian or Pacific Islanders, 70% more likely to deny Native Americans, and 80% more likely to reject Black applicants. And these numbers are after they adjusted for variables, like income or work history. So why are people of color being turned down for loans so much more than white people? Or to quote DJ Snake and Lil Jon's song about mortgages, turned down for what? <laughs> well, at least part of the reason for that rejection is because of something that was left out of the study, credit scores. A credit score is a number that's supposed to tell a lender how likely you are to pay your bills on time. It's one of the most crucial numbers in your life right after that number you got at the bar last night, you dirty little bow. <laughs> And that number has some issues. The National Consumer Law Center said, credit reports and scores reflect stunning racial disparities. So did the National Fair Housing Alliance and the Federal Reserve and the Brookings Institution and Harvard. The only other thing this many people agree on is that Nutella is delicious. Great job, Nutella, no notes. <laughs> Basically, in America, you can get credit for being white. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can credit scores be racist if they just reflect your financial history? Well, it's not that simple. Take Rent, for example. Not the musical, but that's only because I would need way more time to talk about the musical. Uh -uh. Mark and Roger thought they were gonna get a free apartment forever, and they're gonna walk all over their black landlord to do it? I don't think so. <laughs> According to the experts, People who pay their rent on time are likely to pay their mortgage on time. In fact, a person with a low credit score who pays their rent is more likely to pay their mortgage on time than someone with a high credit score who doesn't. But here's the thing. Common versions of the credit score don't use rent payments in their scores, which is insane. It's like predicting who is gonna win the bachelorette and not taking into account the first impression rose. <laughs> are you kidding me? That's the most important way to predict. But. Leaving rent payments out of the formula isn't just stupid, it's racist. Because while rent payments don't count toward your credit score, mortgage payments do. And guess who's more likely to have mortgages? White people. To be polite, I'll just call them Macklemore fans. <laughs> yes, a 2020 study found that 44% of black families own their home compared to 73.7% of Macklemore fans. So let's review. You need a mortgage to get credit, but you can't get a mortgage unless you have credit. Basically, black people can't buy a house until they own a house. A sentence so cryptic, it should be said by a troll under a bridge. And it's not just rent. Credit scores take into account all kinds of questionable stuff. Some credit agencies actually consider SAT scores, a measurement that's so biased against black people, we already did a whole segment about it. They can also factor in information about whether you graduated from college or how often you change addresses or whether you enjoy drinking margaritas and watching old episodes of Living Single. Okay, I made that last one up, or did I? Because here's the thing, no one knows exactly how credit scores are determined. The formulas are considered trade secrets. You know, kind of like your mom's chili recipe, the secret is cumin and love, but mostly cumin. <laughs> and your credit score doesn't just affect your ability to buy a house. Employers use credit reports to decide whether to give you a job. Car dealers use them to pick the interest rate on your vehicle. Credit scores even determine how much interest you pay on your student loans, which explains why a study found that borrowers who attend mostly white colleges get lower interest rates than borrowers who attend historically black colleges. Though, frankly, it's worth paying more to see a halfway decent halftime show. So in the end, people of color get lower credit scores because the system is biased. 
Because of those scores, they have to pay higher down payments and interest rates, and that makes them more likely to default on their loans, which in turn will lower their credit score even more. Even the writer of Squid Game is like, stop, this story about money is too depressing. So <laughs> how do we fix it? Honestly, by getting rid of credit scores. They're biased and they're being used to oppress people. And fun fact, a lot of countries don't have them at all. They're extremely American, like easy cheese and guns. <laughs> but if they'll both kill you. They'll both kill you. <laughs> but if we're going to stick with credit scores, we at least need some transparency. If one number is going to determine our entire future, we have a right to know how they got it. That way, a new generation of black people won't have to get rejected for mortgages and think to themselves, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? Turn down for what? This has been How Did We Get Here?